Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure PostgreSQL 17.4 on Windows operating systems. I am going to install on Windows 11, but the process is same on all Windows operating systems. PostgreSQL.org is the official website. See here, the latest release is PostgreSQL 17.4 at the time of making this video. Click on download, then click on Windows, then we have to click on this download installer. See here the latest process equal 17 version is 17.4. Okay, so click on this under x86 64. Click on this download button. Wait a moment, download will be started. See, download started. Go to downloads. See here its size is 335 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download completes, we will install the process equal 17.4. In meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, download is completed. Now click on this PostgreSQL 17.4 Windows x64 exe file. Click on it. Click on next. See, this is the installation directory. If you want to change, you have to click on this browse button. I am okay with this default one. So click on next. Now we have to select the components. The first one is PostgreSQL Server. It is the database server and pjadmin is the GUI tool. See, pjadmin is graphical interface for managing and working with PostgreSQL databases and servers. Okay. Stack Builder. It, see, it has additional tools like tools, drivers and applications to complete the PostgreSQL installation. Command line tools. See here, we have the different command line tools like ECPG, PG underscore base backup, PG dump, PG restore, PG bench and many and more. Okay. So I want to install all these components. Then click on next. And we have to provide the data directory. See, this is the default directory. As I told you, if you want to change the data directory, you have to click on this browse button and select the path. Okay. Then click on next. Now we have to set the password for the database operator. That is Postgres. Okay. So remember this password, which is required to connect to PostgreSQL server. Then click on next. And default port number, see, this is the port number for the PostgreSQL. So, if you want to give some other, give the port number here. Then click on next. Local settings, I am going with the defaults. See, this is the installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on next. Ready to install, this, this is just confirmation. Click on next to install. See, installation has been started. See, completing the PostgreSQL setup wizard. If you go to Start all applications. Go to the PostgreSQL folder. See here we have the PostgreSQL 17. In this, see here we have the pjadmin, application stack builder, and psql. Okay. So I don't want to launch stack builder at this moment. So unselect it and click on finish. Okay. We have successfully installed. Now go to again. PostgreSQL folder or you can search for the PSQL. See here we have the SQL shell. Open it. Now connect to PostgreSQL server. See PostgreSQL is installed on this PC so localhost is fine. Hit enter. Database also. We have the Postgres. Port number 5432. Username Postgres. Then provide the password that we have set at the time of installation. See we have connected to PostgreSQL server. See but notice here 17.4 this is the client version but if you want to find the process equal server version we have to run the command select version see we have installed process equal 17.4 okay now we are going to see how to create a database first verify list of databases backslash l is the command to verify list of databases see these are the three default databases that comes with process equal installation now create a database create Now verify again. See, we have these databases. We can also get the list of the databases information by running the query against. So let's start from pg underscore database. See, we got the more information. Okay, like void uh, that is object ID, data that name is database name, that dpm is owner name. Okay, now we are going to switch to this new database bank and create a table. So to switch to database, we have to use backslash c or backslash connect 
then we have to provide the database name. See, you are now connected to database bank as user Postgres. Before that, verify list of tables. See, we don't have any tables because this is the fresh database. So, create a table. Now verify again. See here we have a table that is customer and its owner name is Postgres and schema name is public. We have only one schema that is public. Okay. Now insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. Now verify the data. See, we have these two rows. Now we will see how to create a user. Before that, verify list of the users. See, we have only one user that is Postgres, which is having super user privileges. Okay, let us create a user. Here. Now verify, see here, we have the new user James, okay. Now we will see how to stop, start and restart Postgres SQL service on Windows operating systems. Windows run, then go to services.msc or start search for services. See here, we have the services application. Either is fine, okay. So open it, then go to P. See here we have the Postgres SQL 17 and its status is running. So if you want to restart, right click and select restart or select the service here and click on restart link or click on this restart button. All three options are set. If you want to stop, select stop or stop button, stop link or stop button. Okay. Now we will connect with this new user. Again open PSQL shell. Server name, local host, database same, port same, username, give the new user, that is this one, James. Okay, hit enter, then provide the password. See, this is the password for this user. Hit enter. See, we have successfully connected. If you want to verify the current user, select current underscore user. See, we have successfully connected with the user, James. Now try to switch to bank database. See, you are now connected to the database bank as user, James. Now run the query, customer, don't work. See, permission needed for the table, customer, because we have created user, but we haven't granted any privileges. That's why you have received this error. So, to read or uh, modify or update or delete or to perform any action, we have to grant privileges to this user on this object, I mean table okay until now we have connected postgres sql by using psql point we can also connect postgres sql by using pg admin go to here pg admin see here we have the pg admin 4 open it and we have another tool that is dbaver i have already installed dbaver on my pc if you want to install you can go through my channel and search for how to install dbaver okay let me open this one also okay it's opening See, this is the PG admin console. Right click on servers, register, then select server. Then here provide the server name. Name can be anything. Then go to connections tab. Here give the local host because Postgres SQL is installed on this PC. And maintenance database Postgres username or same. Provide the password of this user. Or you can give the user that we have created. Then click on save. See, you have successfully connected. So you have bank database, right click on the database, then select query tool. Now we can run queries against this database. Select the query and click on execute. See, you got the output. This is one tool. See, here also we can create users. Expand here. This is the user that we have created. These are the default. 
okay right click create then select the login or group role okay now go to here we want to connect process equal click on this connection button then select the process equal then click on next then here host name is localhost port number same show all databases then provide the password of this post receive user then click on test connection see so successfully connected click on okay click on finish so you got the connection expand it expand databases see here we have bank database front run query sign is this one right click select sql editor then open sql console now we can run the queries here customer select the query and click on this execute button see we got the output okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure postgresql 17.4 on windows operating system then we have seen how to connect to postgresql by using pgadmin and dbr on windows operating systems for more postgresql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you